Hi everyone, um, this is actually take two of Children's Book um, Thursdays for this week. The last video had like a bunch of burps in it, so hopefully this one is better. I don't know how many times I'm going to try to record it before um, it actually works. So, um, trying to remember what I said last time. Seems like the last week when I did the old bear video that that went over pretty well, so I think that I'm going to do that in the future for more children's books, including today. Um, and today's book is Leonardo the Terrible Monster by Mo Willems. Um, and if you haven't heard of Mo Willems yet, then you should probably move out of the rock that you've been sitting under because he's probably the most popular children's book author right now. And uh, he has this book obviously. And then there's also the first book that I ever heard about were Knuckle Bunny and Knuckle Bunny 2, which are really cool books because they incorporate um, black and white photography and the cartoon style that Mo Willems draws in. And then there's also the Pigeon series and then there's, what, like, Pig and Elephant, I think? Maybe? Any Mo Willems fans out there, you can comment and tell me the names, the actual names. I don't know what the actual names are, I just like the book, so, um, without further ado, I will do Leonardo the Terrible Monster by Mo Willems, and, um, this is a really, like, is a long vertical book, um, so I might have to read and then show you the pictures, but I think that might have been what caused problems last time, so we'll see what happens. Leonardo was a terrible monster. He couldn't scare anyone. He didn't have 1,642 teeth like Tony. And there's a note on the bottom that says, not all teeth shown. He wasn't big, like Eleanor. And he wasn't just plain weird, like Hector. Leonardo tried very hard to be scary, but he just wasn't. One day, Leonardo had an idea he would find the most scaredy cat kid in the whole world and scare the tuna salad out of him. Leonardo researched until he found the perfect candidate. Sam. Oops, just get the head. Leonardo snuck up on the poor, unsuspecting boy. And the monster gave it all he had. Until the little boy cried. Yes, cheered Leonardo, I did it! I finally scared the tuna salad out of someone. No, you didn't, snapped Sam. Oh, yeah, replied Leonardo. Then why are you crying? My mean big brother stole my action figure right out of my hands while I was still playing with it, and then he broke it on purpose, and it was my favorite toy, and I tried to fix it, but I couldn't, and I got so mad, I kicked the table, and I stubbed my toe on the same foot that I hurt last month when I accidentally slipped in the bathtub after I got soap in my eyes trying to wash out the bird poo that my brother's cockatoo pooped on my head, and I don't have any friends, and my tummy hurts. That's why. Then Leonardo made a very big decision. Instead of being a terrible monster, he would become a wonderful friend.
But that didn't mean that he couldn't try to scare his friend every now and then. The end. Okay, sorry. Sometimes this has like really weird burps and I don't know like what's wrong with it. Um, and I think I had to I had to stop in the middle and start over again. So I'm sorry if that got confusing. Um, but basically, so that was this book and I I think it's a fun book. A lot of his other books have more opportunities to kind of do like a reader's theater almost and have a lot of fun with voices. Um, I probably could have done more with that in this book, but I didn't. Um, one thing that I do not like about this book is these two pages. Because I like what he's I like what he's saying. I mean, it's cool and fun, and like I've been there. Yeah, my tummy hurts too. But I don't like that if you can kind of see because head kind of covers up some of the text which makes it difficult even for me to read and so I imagine that if I ever tried to use it with a student that they would probably have problems reading that as well um but overall I really like Mo Willems he's great author to check out and that is a fun book to read and I hope you are looking forward to the children's book for next week as much as I am see you guys later